I was working in perishable department and I hurt my back. So my brother owned a shoe repair store and I used to go on on Saturdays, do a little polishing this, that, and I love to work on my hands because I've done carpentry, a lot of mechanics. And he said, you do good at this. And then you just pick up the trade, you start learning things, and you like you like to see what the finished product looks like. Some of the products you come in, it's it's not fixable. Some you can real fix it. A lot of times, dogs chew the leather, we fix that. It's it's a challenge for everything we do, and we appreciate what we do, and we take pride in our work. Anytime somebody comes picks up this stuff at the shop, I always take the shoes out of the bag and show them. I said, this is what. And they love it. And I'm a customer, a happy customer. I don't know if you can see here. Here we go. Bob did some wonderful work to my boots here. A lot of people get disposable because they don't want to spend the money on a good pair of shoes. Right. But as you know, when you get older, yep. your feet have to be comfortable. When you're young, in your teens, 20s, now you say, oh, I'm just going to buy these shoes and I'll throw them out when they're done. Right. But now you get 30, 40 years old, now you on your feet longer your knees, and your, your knees, back. your back, you want to make sure they level and your feet are comfort because without your feet being comfortable, you're going to feel bad all day long and at night time, especially when you're older, you've got enough of aches and pains right. <laughs> and that you don't have to do any more of it. So you want to stay away from it. And if you take care of your shoes, you go to, on an interview, you want to look presentable and right. you feel better. Your shoes are clean. You walk into some place that they're all mucky and everything and everybody's right. like, oh, okay, what are we going to do? This guy doesn't take care of himself. Well, what's he going to do in our business? Right. You know what I mean? Good point. So it's a lot of people, they look at these little things. And one thing on that topic is Bob actually does the shoes for our state troopers here in Rhode Island. You were telling oh, us yeah. about that. Yep. I have the contract for their boots and everything. Those so are beautiful boots. boots. Oh, yeah. We, we take care of them. Hey, they take care of us. We have to take care of them. <laughs> and how many laces? They got like... 20 laces, right? They go all the way up. Uh, it's one lace. It's just a long, long like, lace. It just and crushes. you're going to intertwine it all. You have to know what you're doing to get them laced up. Because if you just hand it to somebody, they're going to say, how do I lace these? Right. Which one? This is a real soft, soft brush. Yep. This is hotter, so it, it like almost like melts the, gotcha. the wax in, and it seals it up nice, nice for you. So like you said, now when I want to polish it, Put a little polish on there. And you bring it to the last wheel over here. And it kind of puffs it up real good. And there you go. And it's it's a challenge. And we, we've done it so many years. We know what we can do and what we can't do. What can't you do? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Something. <laughs> Sometimes, well, the things we can't do is like, things we shouldn't do because we don't want to waste the people's money gotcha. to fix it. What's in my time of that example, maybe you look at something you're like, ah, I don't know. Right. If a dog chews the boots real bad, gotcha. it's like, no, Just we can't do pair. it. Get another pair. I'd rather see you invest in a new pair and me work on those right. than you throwing your money away because it's not going to look the way I want it to, so it's not going to go off the door, so you're not even going to get them. 